Hi, my name is Johan Falke. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden. This is a short video where I talk about the Rules Pains module, a sandbox module. Uh, I hope to make a full project pretty soon. Uh, it allows you to embed rules components as uh, panes in panels and other modules. And I'm going to show you in a few minutes, well, with a few minutes, how this works. Here's a demo site I put up on my local machine here. Um, I have some dummy nodes added here. Here's an article. Uh, let's actually add another article manually. Test article. Great. Some text goes here. Uh, down here I have a user list. This is a, an entity reference field. I'm going to populate that later on. I'm just going to say this. Here's a, te uh, a test article. Uh, I have created a few rules components here. Here are rules and rules components. Uh, there is uh, one component called send reminder about a node, which then is, uh, can be scheduled using uh, another uh, component here. Uh, schedule a node reminder email, and I'm going to use this execute link here, like this. Uh, and that allows me to call this component manually and set all the input parameters manually for, for this component. This component takes three parameters, a date for the reminder, let's pick a date right now, the node to remind about, let's have a look here, this is node number 11, so I'm gonna switch here, enter node ID 11, the user to remind about this node, let's switch to direct input here as well, I'm gonna remind user say 3, I think that's an editor, and then I'm going to execute, sending these parameters to this component and have it fire off, and then it says uh, the user editor will be reminded about the test article at this point in time. And if I want to, I can head over to the schedule uh, tab here and I can see all the scheduled tasks uh, for rule scheduler, and here's this this component being scheduled. Let's remove that for now. Okay, so all this is in rules core. Uh, very cool stuff uh, and rules scheduler. Um, very useful. And what I've added is the following. Well, a way to embed this in, uh, uh, in panels and page manager. So here's my test article and this is actually being displayed through uh, page manager. If I go to pages here we have the node template, edit here, go into the content, you can see I have uh, actually panels enabled on, on this page. Let's move this one to the left side and on the right side I'm going to add content and I have a new category here called rules and I can here have this schedule a node reminder email. Let's just uh, leave these as, as they are right now, finish, update and save. And if I now go reload this page, I should get yeah, node content on the left side. And here is the, uh, the form used uh, to send a reminder about this node to someone. Well, about any node actually right now. So right now I could send a, a reminder about node number one to say user number, let's pick four, execute. And now the user administrator will be reminded about, this is uh, apparently node number one at this time. Um, and that's sometimes useful, but what's even more useful is if you go back to this um, panel settings here and change the settings, I can uh, change, uh, use the contexts in Page Manager to send into this component. So instead of having the user selecting the node manually, I can select the node being viewed because this is a context that matches this um, uh, this particular, well the parameters, one of the parameters that this uh, rules component needs. Uh, so let's finish here, update and save, go back here and now this node to remind about should go away. Reload, yes. 
And now if I say remind user number one here, execute, it automatically populates um, this node parameter with a test article, the node being viewed right now. And I can do this one uh, with the user as well. If I go into the panels here, add a new context here, add a context, a user, add context, the logged in user, finish, update and save, go back to the content. Now I have another context available and I can change the user to remind to the user here. Let's override the title, remind me about this article. Schedule remind schedule email. Some help text. Some help text goes here. Finish. Update and save. So if I reload here, the user to remind field should go away as well. Remind me about this article, some help text, date for reminder, schedule email. And now I've um, just, well, only the important part uh, of the form here is left for the user to fill in. And you can choose whatever date you want. And this is a form, you can use form alters and stuff in, in Drupal as usual to make this more pretty if you want to. Um, yes. Um, I'm going to show you one more example of this. Uh, these articles have um, a user list here, and you can add, say, the editor here and save, and we can see that it appears here. Um, there's a, a rules component. Let's see, I'm over here. That can be used to add some uh, add a user to some user list. If I execute this, you can see that it has a node to which uh, this uh, user should be added and then the user that should be added. If I go back to the node template here, just going to show you what it can look like. If I uh, add this rules component as a content pane, add a user to some user list, to the node being viewed, add the acting user, add me to this list. And this could be, I don't know, some kind of signups. It could be, uh, uh, well, whatever. I can use this. This is now just about a no input uh, um, form fields uh, at all. If I add myself, I'm the root user. If I add myself here, I'm added to the list. I think I can add myself, yeah, many times if I want to. This can, can be set, of course, in the rules when you um, all right, uh, this is the rules panes module. Um, yeah, if you like it, um, go play around with it. Um, please send me feedback or, or whatever. And uh, have a nice day. I'll see you in some other video. Goodbye.